Hello and welcome back. Let's go to the obelisk and see if we can find out what the progenitor teleport network is about. We bring an insulation boost. Get a few butts. Yep. And I think I want to bring the tent and the constructor and maybe a few bottles of emergency O2. Prepare a few beverages. Do we have everything? I think we have, yes. Let's go. The obelisk is right around the corner. Over there. Strong whispering coming from the obelisk. Pro Enchkin Tichor. That's the thing. Not much to see. Turn on the light. The obelisk. Welcome, aspirant of the ascension. Deepen your knowledge and face your test. Okay. The portal is not active. The portal down here seems inactive. However, there are emissions from active teleporters coming from the top of this obelisk. We should investigate everything we find here. If we can find a way up there, this could definitely get interesting. Yeah. What do we have? Tales of Tesh. Oh, another log file. Tash Archi Talon, log number four. The key matrix opened the obelisk for us. In the lower area, there is a portal that we could not activate. Apparently, the console and the key we got from the Font of Knowledge are not enough. The teleporters in the upper part of the building lead to the other moons of the gas planet. The other said I should wait for reinforcements from the academy. <laughs> That's all I need, having to share this discovery with my mother. I've got myself a suit and I'm going to try the upper teleporters. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Okay, we'll do the same. We go up. Do some bunny hopping here. Four teleporters. So this one goes to Ningus, the cold planet. This one goes to Skillen, the barren desert planet. This one is Akua, and this is Masper on the swamp planet. Let's go to the cold one first. Here we are. Oh, look at the temperature, minus 22 degrees. And on the jetpack. And another Tales of Tesh. Tash Aki Talon, lock number five. As I expected, the teleporter worked and rematerialized me in one piece at my destination. The rooms here are identical to the one in the obelisk I came from. Four teleporters in the upper room, a portal in the entrance area. I measured the energy flow. It seems that these obelisks are some kind of nodes where a form of unknown energy converges. My measurements also indicate there seem to be a malfunction of some sort. My instruments say that the energy is draining away somewhere. It doesn't seem to be the way it should be. I don't hear the voice anymore, by the way. Don't know if that's a good sign. You grab out the tent first. Minus 26 degrees. Place the tent. And maybe put on the insulation boost. Have a scan of the area. Convoy. Minus 27. That's still okay. Let's see how far we can go. Minus 22 and plus 95. Okay. So it will be getting cold. Convoy. Herbal leaves, sir. Huh? You never know. Oh, good day. The 
discovered a new faction, Polaris Megacorp. New resource type discovered, Cobalt. I uh, get resources from these Hishkel. Oh, good day, sir. <laughs> More of you there? Oh. What with this guy? Good day, sir. Guard. Armand Co. Driver. Thank goodness you are here. I already thought my last ally had struck. The Hishkel are extremely aggressive. Never mind. What do you have here? Still cold in here. Another log file maybe? Yes. Hashaki Talon, log number 6. I have been observing the local obelisk for the last few days. We have placed network consoles in all four obelisks and at the camps near the Font of Knowledge of each moon, so as not to miss any relevant data. I'm pretty sure now, what we have here is a system that extends over all the moons of the gas giant. It generates a form of energy field. In the moments when the system is stable, the obelisks charge with it and release it in pulses. These pulses sometimes lead to communication failures in the vicinity of the obelisks. I'm afraid that if the charges become stronger, it might become a problem for more of our equipment. We get information on the planet, planet data ninguis. Climate, clear snow ice, landscapes, great ice mountain ranges set amidst valleys of tundra. Also possesses smaller bodies of water. Arboreal trees, sparse grass, less plentiful herbs and minimal edible plants. Okay. Some neutral scavengers and herbivores. Warning, predator threat higher. Radiation levels low. Temperatures can reach dangerous lows. Yeah, minus 33 already. Okay. Do another scan of the area. What do we have? Question mark, question mark. Oh, a drone. Yeah, you have drones here on Ningus. Let's see what these question marks are. Oh, a raptor. Engine compartment. Don't want to mess with raptors here. And what's this? Broken radar. What's this over there? Just want to stay for a few minutes to get an idea of what it is like here on this planet. Gather some intel. New mission available, Andromeda's train. To start the mission, talk to Commander Pandrell. He is in the cockpit of the landed shuttle. Oh, and we're already getting cold. Your hot beverage. <sighs> Minus 62 degrees, holy moly. So this is the mission chain here on on Ningus with the Polaris Megacorp. Good day, sir. Cannot pick up anything. Oh, looky, looky. What do we have here, Hunter? Nice. Yeah, why not? We take it, right? <laughs> we cannot craft these things. So we collect them. Oh, must not take anything. Oh, good day, sir. Deck officer. Good afternoon, sir. You must be an announced specialist that headquarters wanted to send us. Please report immediately to Commander Pendrell up in the shuttle's cockpit. Thanks, will do. That is up there. Oh, it's cold again. Another beverage. This will rise the body temperature by 8 degrees. Okay. <sighs> so let's take a look at the lock. This is now the Polaris Megacorp story. Nice. But I don't want to start the storyline yet. Just want to take a look at these, at the three moons. What's this destroyed mining tower? Let's take a look. Mm. 
Damage Drone. <lacht> And we're cold again. I think it will still attack us. Sooner or later. So what is this? Destroyed mining tower. We make lucky lucky. Maybe better get a weapon out. Sometimes you find little things here on the top. Like this. Project arrival round. What is it called? Repository, okay. Okay. <laughs> And we're cold again at 14 degrees. Oh, minus 73. <sighs> oh, wow. Oh. We have another repository here, maybe? Yes. Drill charge. Drill charge. Why not? We take it if we get it for free. Okay, I think that shall be enough from this moon. Let's get back. Before we freeze to death here. My opinion here, Ningus. Oh, let's have another thing. Last one. <sighs> In my opinion, Ningus is the hardest starter planet. The cold can really kill you within a few minutes. And there are drones here. Pick up the tent as well. And let's get off here. Get away from here. I think we're going home first. Let's see, uh, going home and leave some loot there. Back to Akua we go. Nice, nice temperature. Oh, turn on the jetpack. Where is it? Here, the portable. We placed the portable constructor here. Where did I put the tent? There. Put everything into here. We go to Skillen next, the desert one. There's no breathable atmosphere, that's why we brought the oxygen. Oh, look at the radiation. Turn the jetpack on. Next log file, maybe. Yes. Tash Akitelen lock number seven. The days are getting more uncomfortable. The tone here is getting noticeably rougher. The war is coming closer. The commandant's office has assigned me a personal guard named Kel Hizani, one of the Krokom elite soldiers. I'm not sure what that's about. He is to accompany me as soon as I leave the camp. I don't mind. The guy is at least pleasant. Apparently, he's already served with General Garan in the High Guard. Well, I could have been there too, if I hadn't been pelted with misgivings. Concerns, concerns, concerns about what a Talon and foster daughter of a Xerox general would do in the High Guard. So what? Interesting. So Tash Aki Talon is a she. And even the females have low voices or deep voices. Place the tent here. Get this one and do a sweep of the area. Opportunity. What's this? Nice. Flying thing. I hope it doesn't spit or shoot or something. Let's go and check our opportunity. Close the door. What is this? Klex Klado. It is amazing how these huge creatures keep themselves in the air. My research has shown that they have an anti-gravity organ. 
I will try to give the data to the people of the Ren clan so that they can transmit it to the academy. Yes, they are pirates, but they seem reasonable to me. And I'm sure the fee will do the rest. I just have to find the bearing beacle signal of La Grande Mayra. Locate Ren clan base, La Grande Mayra. It's the pirate clan. That's the storyline mission here on Skillen. And what do we have here? Another log file. Yes. Tash Akitelen, log number eight. The obelisks are suddenly showing strange fluctuations in their energy consumption levels. Sometimes they simply fail and go dark, as if they had swallowed too much. We've checked the energy flow and finally found a trace. Some of the artifacts, we call them activators, seem to be out of sync on some planets. They seem to work like rectifiers. We've been able to stabilize them and the fluctuations have been minimized. But how long that will last, I don't know. Izani also tried the Fond of Knowledge. He said he had to accompany me anyway and that he had to know what that is what all about. I'll make a scientist out of him yet. Ha. Oh look, do we have a firestorm outside? Oh. Not good, not good. Look at the radiation level, 8.2. We get information about the planet. Heat waves during the day alternate with sometimes extremely cold nights. High base radiation, oh man. Deadly fire rain can be experienced daily. Stay away from the many sinkholes. Hardly any vegetation, low bushes and other dry plants. A few oases are used by predators as retreats. Mutated beasts that spit fire and overman-sized worms that roam the deserts. And on top of that, the normal predators. A few underground deposits of promethium and neodymium and the usual carbon. Okay. So not only do you not have a breathable atmosphere, but you get extreme heat and extreme cold and creatures that spit at you and no resources. Oh, I wonder is this can we have the core, yeah hit points, five out of one hundred twenty. So you can destroy that and take over this as a base. So if you start out here on Skillen, that might be well an opportunity. Have to close it here and here to make it airtight. We have grow plots, a grow light, ventilator. What do we have here? Oh, nice radiation stuff and some water so you can make emergency O2. This might trigger the grow light. Is it a good idea to go out on the fire rain? We'll see what happens. Ugh. Maybe not a good idea. <laughs> Okay, looks like we have to wait it out. Or is it over? It's over. Okay, very good. Where's La Grande Mayra? And we have an ancient shelter. Oh, are these are the, the fire spitting worms, yes? <laughs> oh, these are the things. They are passive, these drone thingies. These are the things you need to salvage drone, yes? You need to hunt for the first, uh, for the first mission here. The mission chains are all somewhat similar. Five missions and one of the first is usually a fetch quest. Seems empty. Did I hear something? I think I heard something. Okay, let's check with La Grande Mayra. Oh, strange noises. And what's this? Destroyed mining tower. Unknown faction, okay. Oh, these are the sinkholes they were talking of. 
Oh, and this is one of the oases that predators use as a retreat, yes? Let's see what we can get here. Natural stimulant. Some grains. These berries are fruit berries, yes, why not? Alien thorn, okay. Plant fibers, plant proteins, vegetables, berries. Oh, and the Hishkal. La Grande Mayra. Pirate clans. New mission available. Deserted powers. Talk to the guard at the ship's landing position. He will give you a direction how to start the mission. Okay. Nice. Good day, sir. Oh, look what we have. Speed star. Yes, why not? We collect it. Thank you very much. What do we have? A trader. Oh. Oh, nice. Here you get a radiation protection and a multi boost. And this is how you start the mission. Your calls Chroma Guard. Let's see. Oi, no loitering around at our base. If you are from the Traders Guild, I might let you through. Or rob you. What shall it be? <laughs> Let's show him the weapon. Oi, cool man. Did not mean to argue with you. Please be our guest. Check with Captain Sek. You can find him somewhere up in the ship. I will lower the ramps for you. Thanks. Okay. Oh, now we started the mission chain. Let's take a look at the lock. Pirate clans, yes. Okay, but we're not here to do missions. Oh. Masperon, there's the next moon we are going to. Okay, time to get back. Obelisk, yes. Wreckage. A wreckage? Ooh. Careful. Oh. Let's take a look. We have Pentaxit in here. And mushrooms. I think I see mushrooms. What is this? Nothing. Yes, Pentaxit. Nice. We grab some while we're here. And eggs. What is this alien spike lemon? Ah, <laughs> yes. Eggs and mushrooms are hard to come by at Aqua. Or on Aqua, I should say. So we grab a few while we're here. Okay, shabby enough. Time to go. How's our oxygen going? 200 of 375. That's fine. Yeah, that lasts quite a while in your suit. So if you start out here on skillen, then oxygen is not so much of a concern. You still have 10 or maybe 15 minutes. And if you find La Grande Maira, they have oxygen in their ship and you can refill for free. Hishkel. Get away from here before the next firestorm comes. And grab the tent. Oh, and let's quickly check the resources. One carbon, two promethium, and two neodymium. Okay. And we're going home.
This stuff is heavy, right? Or not heavy, but there's a lot of volume. Okay, off to the next one. Off to Masperon. Turn the jetpack on. Maybe another log file? Yes. Ash Aki Talon log number 9. What a bummer. We were stuck here for 10 days. All the technology was down after a strong energy spike coming from the local obelisk. I thought we stabilized this system. Apparently not. Izani and I had a lot of time to talk about the war, the military, our parents' career aspirations for us. He also paid me something of a compliment. I think he was a little embarrassed by my speechlessness. Fortunately, we quickly found a distraction at the network console's memory buffer. The record indicates that we might have missed something important in this planetary circuit setup made by the progenitor. Now we just have to find out what it is. Oh, something's coming. A Hishkal. A good day, sir. That looks like neodymium. Place the tent first. And do a scan of the area. Crashed cockpit. Yes. This neodymium? Yes it is. Might as well grab it while we're here, right? A swamp planet. What's the temperature? 42. Quite warm here. Oh, what are you? A creeper. You are creeping. I think they are not friendly. No. No, they are not. What is this thing? Mosquito. They are also not friendly. Oh, where did it go? Crashed cockpit. What do we have here? Oh. Ugh. Oh, grow plots and a grow light. Nice. Oh, next log file maybe? Yes. Dash Architel in log number 10. After the system was back online, we checked all the ruins on the moons to see if there were any other artifacts linked to the obelisks. We didn't find anything, but learned that there seemed to be a lot of creatures we hadn't catalogued yet. The drones on the moons were supposed to keep the most dangerous of them at bay, but there's interference with the controls from the energy spikes increasingly emanating from the obelisks. At least I was lucky. But if Hizani hadn't been there, I'd be history by now instead of cataloging it. The Crocom were there too late, but at least they smoked out some of the nests of these nasty creatures. Wow, the weather. We get information on the planet. Clear, cloudy, rain, storms, toxic. Oh. Grasslands, plateaus and endless bogs. Some larger bodies of water. Plen yes, go, go smaller. Plentiful trees, vines, undergrowth, grass and masses of moss. High level of herbs and edible plants. Warning, danger, little neutral species, packs of enemies, lone hunters and other threats are the norm, not the exception. Do not go outside without proper weapons and armor. Radiation levels low, temperatures can reach dangerous highs. Water presence can hamper escape. Higher cliffs can create environments for predators to easily corner their prey. Landscape contours and lush swamps can make detection of approaching predators a critical skill to quickly acquire. Okay, 
Can get pretty warm here, you say, yes? Solar panel. A capacitor. Nice. Okay, what else do we have? Question marks over there. Let's see if we can go there. Yes. Aha. Uh, what's this? Rescue pot. Oh. Small gorge. How oh, is this maybe the starting area if we start here on Masperon? That's where you start. Nice. Oh. <laughs> I think it is. That looked like a Polaris scout. Why am I looting plant fibers? I don't know. Oh, what's this? What a shame that it's night time. Oh, the radiation, look at that. Oh, it still has deserted powers, find Captain Sack. Eggs, yes, why not? What are these things? Alien thorn. Yes, oh, what is this? Promethium, yes. And mushrooms. And Pentaxit. Yes, nice. Pick up this stuff. Hard to come by at, at, at Akua. On Akua, I should say. And what is this? Cobalt, yes. Yes, why not? And by the way, what resources do we have here? Iron, copper, silicon, carbon. What's this? Titanium and pentaxid. Nice. Oh, I hear something. What's this? Alien worm. I think these are harmless. At least I never had trouble with them. Yes. Nice. Cobalt. Do another scan. Not very inviting here, the weather. Oh, can we see on the map what we have? Bad Wolf, Xerax, House of Abyssal, okay. I think I've seen enough. What a pity that it's not daytime. Let's go back home. Oh, where is it? Oh, there, obelisk. The obelisk. <laughs> I heard the mosquito.
Yeah, let's grab the tent and off we go. Let's go home. Oh yes. Always good to be back at Akua. Turn the jetpack on. And get everything for the fridge. Okay, we bring everything home. That's all from here, I believe. Rest goes into here. Yeah, let's put these things into here. Speedster and Hunter. Let's see if we can craft. Yes, we can. We can craft these parked variants of these. Let's do that. Yes. We'll have a biker gang here. Yes. <laughs> Fill up the suit with the big bottles. Another one of these. Yeah, that's enough. And fill the stomach. Do we have a dino stew? No, we don't. We can have a pizza and a steak. Yeah, well, that was the obelisk. And we gathered quite a few locks from Tash Architellen, right? Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you a nice day. Goodbye.